Hi and welcome back to Design Spec. Today we're going to talk about spec types, um, how you can make your own from scratch, and how you can adjust some of the defaults that we give you. So let's look at a lighting spec type for example. You'll see that there's a number of fields that we can fill in, um, including a lot of information about the product. So pretty much all of the stuff you see here we can customize somewhat. The first thing is the code. The LT is the default we provide, but if you want to change that, we can make a modification. You can also have some of these furnished and installed by items um, clicked off by default so that you don't have to select it every time. And the same goes for architectural and FF and E. We have a number of designer approvals here, and you can add to this list or remove some of these if you don't like them. And then we have um, a long list of custom attributes so most of these come by default with the software, but you can go in and move these around and change the order. Um, you can change what the actual word says, or you can add your own entirely new attributes. So let's click on the Customize button down here. We'll come to a new tab, and now we're in the Configuration Workspace where the tabs are pink instead of gray. So in the Spec Types tab here, this is the list of all the, the types, and we're in Lighting at the moment. You can delete or archive the spec type altogether, as long as you haven't assigned any actual products to those types yet. You can change the display name, so you could call it architectural lighting, for example, and you could change the code, so this shows up as LTE by default instead. Here's where you can assign um, a default furnished by, so if you'd like it always to be OFCI, you can do that. We had it selected as ff &E by default, and you can also turn that off. So these are the attributes that come um, with the, when the software when you start using a light, but these can be moved around. They can also be removed completely. If you mark it as removed, it shows up at the bottom, and then this field won't show up when you're working in a lighting spec. Then you can just mark it as back in place. If there's something missing from this list, we have um, a long list of attributes over here on the master list, and you can add whatever you like. So we can add a chord length option, and um, anything else you can think of. You can remove it if you don't want to keep it. Now if there's something missing from this master list, go to Manage Master List, you can click New, and create your own um, type that will show up here. Now we have a couple of other tabs, spec linking and designer approval. So let's jump back to the lamp spec for a moment and we'll show you the linked specs. So this is where you might want to assign, say, um, some hardware or like a metal finish to this particular light. And if you click on it, it gives you a list of options that you can tie in to like the fitter, for example, or maybe the hardware. So a few of these come by default, but to make those changes, here's where you do it. So you can see the fitter is shown here and it's linked to the hardware. If you want to make a change, um, click on it and you can add maybe another linked option to the hardware. So for example, if we're going to add something to the hardware tag, we could add metal. And if you'd like to make a new link altogether, you just click New and type in what you'd like the description to be and what spec types it ties into. We also have the designer approval. So back on the Details tab, at the bottom, there were a few designer approvals here. If you'd like to change those or add to them, that's where it comes in on the designer approval tab. You can add to this list here by clicking on some of the available ones, or you can take them off. If there's something missing from this list, you can go to the Designer Approval tab and add a new one to add to the master list. So um, the other thing you can do is, if there's something missing from this list of spec types that your firm likes to use, you can make an entirely new one, and you can input all this information yourself. So you can assign the unique name, 
You can also assign a slightly different display name. This will be locked once it's created, but this you can change. You can create a code prefix. You can choose to have any of these marked off by default. And now you can start adding some attributes. So we have the master list over here. Maybe you can do a search for what you'd like. So we'll add depth and width and finish and so on. These can be moved around. And now when we make a desk spec type, these attributes will show up as an option to fill in. We can also link a new spec. So we may want to show the wood finish, for example. And now we can link from our list of available specs in the project from the woods. So that's how spec types works. Um, if you do have any further questions, please don't hesitate to email us. We're always happy to help. Thank you.